Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be pairing your PS4 controller to your iPad. So that means any iPad that's compatible with iOS 13. So we're gonna get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is press this button, the PlayStation button plus share button, which is up here on the left-hand side. So it's your middle button, PlayStation plus share. We're gonna hold that. Holding, 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 holding. You guys see that blinking? That's perfect. So as long as that's blinking right away, Going to your iPad, settings, and from settings, you're gonna see Bluetooth option. So our option, it's supposed to come down here below under other devices. It would come up here if you guys had synced up your PlayStation controller before. So just be patient and let it do its thing. If it's not blinking anymore, like it isn't right now, just make sure to do it again. So make sure it's blinking like that. From there, you're supposed to see this, DualShock 4 wireless controller. From there, just click right there. And there we go, it should say connected. So let me just zoom in. So right here, you guys can see that it says Dual 4 wireless controller. That says connected. That means my PlayStation controller is connected. And if you look at your PlayStation controller, you're gonna see a steady light. So this, should be a steady light. That also means that it has been connected to your iPad. So at this point, what I can do is just launch any game to test it out. So what we're gonna do is launch Fortnite and we're gonna get started playing Fortnite with our PlayStation 4 controller. As you guys could see, it's pretty easy to hook it up. All we have to do now is just launch our Fortnite and start playing. So we're gonna tap on play. It's gonna load up and then we can get started with our controller in playing Fortnite. So right now we're gonna get started. If I move my joystick like so, you guys can see that that works. So that's fully working. And all I have to do is to play, press this. So it's going to Team Rumble, hold on, let me just get out of there. And let me go right into something else. Let's select solos for now. And we're just gonna press this to play. So it's a triangle. And from here, it's gonna give you the loading screen and everything, and we're gonna get started very soon. Okay, so right now I'm playing Fortnite. It's it loaded up, everything's okay. All I have to do to play this game, and by the way, if I tap anywhere, it's not gonna work. Right now it's synced up to my controller. So what I have to do is actually press my controller so Fortnite works. So right now I can skydive down. I'm gonna keep skydiving. Press this. And press it again. I'm gonna press this, press it again. So basically, I just wanna show you guys that this works. And it works really, really well, actually. Right now, it's giving me some Wi-Fi issues, but we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna show you that you guys can build, you guys can shoot without any problems right now using your PlayStation controller. By the way, if you guys have an iPhone or something like that, same deal, same way to hook it up, it will work exactly the same. So if you guys are watching this because you wanna, just wanna hook it up to your iPhone, whichever one that you guys have, as long as it has a iOS 13, then it should work just fine and just like you see here. I wanna pick up these weapons. Now, if we're lucky, we're gonna see somebody here I can shoot and kill. However, I'm just gonna shoot so you guys can see. I can aim and shoot just fine. Just like I, if I was playing on, X, on PlayStation, it would be the same thing. I was gonna say Xbox because you guys can hook up your Xbox controller as well, which works really, really well. Uh, let me just gather some materials so that way I can show you that you guys can also build just fine. You guys can also crouch. To crouch, just press down and you're crouching. And there you go. So in my other video, some people were asking me about that. They couldn't do it for some reason but it does work, just have to press down on it and that's how you crouch. So I'm just gonna build fast. Let's say there's a guy there and you just shoot him down. Well, let's hope he doesn't shoot me down. Or oh, it seems to be a bot maybe or just somebody running away. So let's go to him. Hopefully I can get one shot, there we go. I have enough materials and hopefully we can end this tutorial really fast. So right now I'm just gonna build. See, I can just build this. Oh, I ran out of materials already. <laughs> but anyways, I just built this ramp and this one right here. I just wanna show you that that works 
extremely well as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up more weapons. There we go. The lag really, uh, there's no lag that I see between the controller and the iPad. The lag that I have right now is just because my internet, you guys can see the Wi-Fi signal up there. It's telling me that it, I don't have the best connection at this point in time. So that's the lag from the game itself. Lag from controller to this, not really. I can go and shoot right away. I can change my weapons. I can switch. I can build pretty fast. It works okay. So a lot of people also ask me, well, what do you prefer to play with? Your Xbox or your PlayStation 4 controller? Don't have an answer just yet for you guys. I have to keep testing this out and let you know what are the pros and cons. At the end of the day, it is whatever controller you guys feel more comfortable with. And that's about it. Anyways, just want to show you guys the basics and this works just fine. We can shoot around, we can switch weapons, we can build once again. There's no problem with building. Of course, if I had more building materials <laughs> and that's about it. Anyways. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.